Hi, my name is Chris Barton and this is my case study for advanced data mining in which I'll be looking at the use of LDA for topic modeling. As an overview in this case study I'll be using a data feed from Hacker News maintained by Google BigQuery. The idea is that I can use all of the news articles posted to Hacker News from 2016 to train an LDA model on after which, um, for new incoming Hacker News stories, I can then use the train model to score them. And then, you know, if I find topics of interest to me, um, I could create a filter and then, you know, kind of create a personalized RSS. Moving forward, I'll go into the data collection and processing. So as I mentioned, the Hacker News data feed is maintained by Google BigQuery, um, at which point I can pull it down to my local computer and then start processing the data. To process the data, I went through several process, several steps in natural language processing, including lowercasing all the all the words, removing any stop words, tokenizing all the words, so getting rid of you know punctuation and you know weird characters, and then finally I used parts of speech tagging and removal. And for this, um, parts of speech tagging is each word in a sentence will get assigned you know a specific um, grammar to it, such as noun or verb. Um, and in this case, I removed anything that wasn't a noun or a verb since uh, the thought being that I think I can get all of the information I need to appropriately tag a document just based off of, you know, the nouns and verbs in a particular sentence. Um, the graph on the right shows the distribution of the, free, the number of words per uh, title pre and post uh, processing. So the blue... Um, distribution is the the length of the titles prior to processing and then the green is after so we can see that we shrunk down the length of all the titles quite significantly so now that all of the data has been prepped it's time to move on to parameter tuning in lda there's a few parameters to tune um, such as the number of topics alpha and eta um, for tuning the number of topics what i did was try to maximize perplexity um, essentially what perplexity is is it um, describes how well a prob particular probability distribution or probability uh, model predicts um, out-of-sample um, results. Um, and the other two uh, parameters are alpha and eta, and I chose to optimize these using topic coherence. Um, a topic coherence, essentially, um, it's the predecessor of perplexity, um, and there's actually been a lot of research done within this in the last few years. Um, and essentially, you know, academics and researchers are kind of questioning the validity of perplexity to evaluate topic modeling. So they've came up with topic coherence, which essentially tries to measure the similarity of words assigned to a given topic. And then they uh, sum the similarity scores and they try to, you know, maximize that. So in this next graph, we can see the, how the perplexity um, you know, changed with the number of topics selected. Um, so here on the x-axis, we can see the, the number of topics used to describe the data. These are actually, um, should be multiplied by five. And then on the left axis, we have the perplexity. So here we can see that around, um, you know, it drops off quite significantly between here and 25 topics. And then around 75 to 100, it kind of stabilizes. So uh, moving forward, I choose to cho chose to um, you know to select a hundred topics um, and then tuned alpha and eta. Finally, now that the model has been tuned and all the appropriate parameters have been optimized, I move on to scoring every document within the news uh, feed. So here uh, on the graph on the left, what I did was uh, looked at the number of documents per topic. Um, so here we can see, you know, it's fairly evenly distributed with around uh, 500 to 600 documents given a minute per given topic. We do see, uh, you know, some large ones like over here. On the right here, we can see that some of the popular words given a given topic. So for topic one, we see Ask HN, which is Ask Hacker News, which is a type of thread you can post onto Hacker News. And topic three, we can see is about, you know, maybe a one at work as well. Moving forward, another interesting use for LDA is that it can be used for dimensionality reduction and, uh, you know, it can be used to prep a data set to run a further, you know, maybe a clustering algorithm. So in here what I did was um, for each document I extracted the topics that it was assigned to. So then I have um, 
a doc document topic matrix um, from which point I can easily calculate a, a topic topic correlation matrix um, and on the left here we can see you know a snippet of this correlation matrix where we can see that um, um, you can't, it's hard to see actually, but topics 97 and 44 are highly, you know, correlated to each other. And when we look at the words of these documents, we see that document or topic 97 is about web, JS, and browser. And topic 44 is about design developer website. So these two topics together could probably make up a good web design cluster. And then finally, for the final application, you know, the idea behind this was, you know, maybe to make a personalized RSS based off of topics that you're interested in. So to this, I went ahead and downloaded more data from March 1st, uh, 2017, Hacker News, so all the titles from that day. Then I went and scored them with the uh, existing LDA model, and then also um, kind of used my knowledge of the clustering to filter out any articles that are related to topics 97 or 44, which should be the web development uh, slash design topic. And here are the first three articles I got, um, and we can you know, see that they're definitely related to web design. So overall, LDA and clustering did work to be able to make a personalized RSS. Um, and that's it, so thank you for listening.